or national. The issues that matter most. Nightside with Dan Ray. WBZ News Radio 1030. All right, running out of time. Back to the phones. Let's go to Horace in Cambridge. Hi, Horace. How are you? Hi there. How are you doing? Good, pal. Um, we're, we're short on time, so I'll give you give you your uh, your time here, but just let's get right to it. All right. Well, I'm a first time caller to your show. Thank and, you. Uh, I've, uh, I was listening to it, and, and you started talking about Michael Jackson, and I, uh, you mentioned the thing about the stamps, and i got to say, it is an absolute definite that this man is going to be on a stamp within the next few years. It's going to happen for sure. Yeah, I think you're probably right. And, you know, like, and I, I was kind of surprised when you said you wouldn't buy a stamp like that because a stamp like that isn't honoring the fact that he was a child molester. Everybody knows that. He was a child molester. Not, you know, he wasn't a predator, but... Just, you know... Um, just a regular child molester. Just a regular child molester. He didn't have a childhood. He was an emotionally retarded 10-year-old. That's what I feel like. But, you know, to buy a stamp with Michael Jackson on it, that's but, honoring the yeah. music. That's honoring the okay. talent. Well, here's that's the deal, I okay? Um, I, I give you the right, if, and I think you're right, there will be a stamp, and I certainly would defend to the death your right to buy that stamp. But I, I hope you would uh, agree with me that, that I would choose, because of... As you as you say, he was a child molester. Uh, not to put a child molester stamp, uh, you know, I, I that's that's my choice. Simple as that. Sorry. No, I no, I agree. I'm just debating with you the principles on which you choose not to buy that stamp. Well, if you look, if if the guy's a child molester, you characterize him as a child molester. I I don't buy. I have a policy. I don't buy stamps uh, that depict child molesters. It's a simple simple standard. But then again, I would buy a stamp of Elvis, even though, you know, Elvis was a drug user and he weighed 300 pounds when he died. I don't have a policy of not buying Elvis stamps, well, you know, the same principle here. Well, you know, it isn't because Elvis wasn't a child molester. I'm drawing the line on child molesters. Yeah, but Elvis, uh, you know, he died in his bathroom. That well, wasn't good. You know, there may have been presidents who died in their bathroom. I don't know. Yeah, but you see, the thing is... I understand know, what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, Horace. All I'm just saying is... You were you were right up front. You said the guy was a child molester. Okay. I agree. He I don't was. want I don't want to buy a stamp of a guy who's a child molester. That's all. And I agree with you. It it probably will be, it will be issued, and people have the option to buy it or not. All right. Now let's get away from the stamp thing. I just want to ask you: Do you personally like? Did you like Michael Jackson's music? Did you think he was a talented guy? Yes. Yeah, I was a talented guy. But I got to tell you, uh, there were other musicians who I liked better. Uh, and and I and I explained it a couple of times. I'm going to be real quick here. Uh, I, I, don't, I didn't get the music. Uh, I loved Donna Summer's music. Uh, I, that's what I liked. I liked Donna Summer. She was good, too. I mean, it's yeah. kind of funny. Were you watching that memorial service? Did you see how he had that? He was in his casket right in front of the stage. Wasn't that a little creepy, a little, a little unusual there? Yeah. That was well, a, that, that's a $25,000 okay. bronze gold-plated casket. You got that? That's another reason why I wouldn't buy this. Hey, Horace, i got to run. Do me a favor. Call again and call early so we can talk longer, okay? Sure thing. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Let me go to 